afternoon, everyone. Um, so pretty good week for us. Um, you know, we, we uh, are actually the last couple of weeks hired a new coach. Um, nobody can pronounce his name, but that's all right. He's going to do a, a terrific job for us. Um, obviously, he's a, he's a returning member of the Suns family. And obviously, um, with our results last week from the NBA draft, landing the number one pick. So, so a couple things about, about the number one pick. Um, you know, a lot of folks will say that you're better in the, in the business, will say that you're better off getting the second pick because there's, you know, there's no pressure on you um, because the first one's kind of taking care of itself. So you don't have to make a decision. Usually the people who say that are the ones who got the second pick to begin with. So the reality is you'd much rather have that first pick. And, you know, you're correct. I am a, I'm a U of A grad, both for undergraduate and for, for my law degree. So I'm very connected to the University of Arizona. I grew up down in Tucson, um, obviously a, a long, lifelong Wildcat fan. So, you know, w would you all like me to tell you who we're going to pick for the number one pick? <laughs> my, my VP of communications is reaching for his oxygen tank right now over there. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you, sorry. And, and, and kind of here's why, all right? Think about a kid, it's Christmas morning, he's got all his presents lined up, you know, all excited. And his brother kind of knows what he's getting and told him two days before. It takes the excitement away completely. So we're not going to do that. All you got to do is tune in on the 21st, June 21st, or come down to the arena. We're going to be having a, um, a really big draft party and uh, really excited about that. But obviously for our organization, it's a historic moment, one that um, we're highly excited about. And you can be rest assured our basketball operations group is putting in the time and effort to make sure we do make that correct pick. Um, so enough about the draft. We'd like to talk about what we're here for today. And first off, we'd certainly like to thank the chamber. Um, you know, this is a, a terrific honor for us and would certainly like to congratulate all the other award winners. You know, you look at this, this group of companies and the things they're accomplishing. And I, I was just saying this to, we have a great group of two tables of our, our terrific employees over there. I was just saying, you know, at the end of the day, we run up and down the court and put a, hole, a, a ball in the hole. You know, these companies, saving children, delivering power to millions, um, you know, giving back to the community, disrupting health care. All of these things are just terrific uh, examples of the things that are happening here in Phoenix and for, for myself and for the rest of the organization to be up here being honored with a collective group of companies that are moving the needle so much is something that I'm extremely proud of. And so I'd like to give a hand to all the other <laughs> recipients. And so, you know, every, co every company has a culture, right? And, and that's whether or not, whether the, the culture is purposely designed or built or whether it's just kind of grown up um, over time. We certainly have our own culture at the Suns and what it's predicated on, what it's really focused on is what we call the Suns family. And the Suns family tree is actually pretty big. You know, you could think that it's just, just the Phoenix Suns, the basketball team, but, but for our organization alone, it's ourselves, it's the Phoenix Suns, it's the WNBA Phoenix Mercury, multiple world champions, it's the Northern Arizona Suns up in Prescott that op we operate our G League team up there. And then obviously the Talking Stick Resort Arena that, that we manage and operate for the city of Phoenix and have done so for almost 27 years and have proudly done so as a world-class entertainment organ uh, venue, um, something we're very proud of. But there's more to the Suns family than just that. There's the community. There's business partners. There's our fans. There's our employees. And, you know, we have over 350 full-time employees, another 600 or 700 part-time employees that create that entire Suns family. And I, I, I say it again and again to the people who work in that building, we oftentimes spend more time with each other than we do with our own families at home because of the nature of the business. And so I do want to thank our employees for the great work they do being part of that Suns family uh, because it takes their collective effort to really deliver what we try and deliver to our, our fans in this community. So it's something we're we're terribly proud of. Um, that culture, that son's set of son's family values, that family value culture, it, it really drives us forward with a couple of, of key principles that we really focus on with everybody. And that's being forward thinking. It's being accountable to each other and to our partners and to our fan base and to the community. It's showing mutual respect, integrity, leadership. And for everybody who works in the building, it's about you and you having a passion for what our purpose is, which is to deliver the finest in sports and entertainment to the Valley and to be community la leaders out in the community that we love so much. So we're very proud of being able to deliver on that promise. Um, 
being able to push those, those values is what's driven us for the last 50 years to be a contributor uh, with all these great companies. And I think it's what's going to continue to push us forward over the next 50 years. So go Suns, go Mercury, go Northern Arizona Suns, go Talking Stick Resort Arena, <laughs> go Valley, and let's have a great draft. Again, tune in on June 31st. Thank you for, um, for coming out today for this. It's something we're all very proud of. Thank you.